We intervened in the Libyan civil war and it was Western bombing that brought about the end of Gaddafi. And that is because it was thought that if we did support the Transitional National Council, then we would have allies when Libya had sorted out its internal difficulties. And that is the situation that we're in, that the imperial background, uh, which is uh, associated with Britain's role in the Middle East, is a dominant one in the minds of most Middle Eastern countries who look at what's happening. And uh, it's very difficult for us to escape from that because it is a historical fact, but it gives extra importance to what is going on now because it indicates a new imperial interest, which is the oil. And uh, of course, if, for example, Israel did attack Iran, which is a serious possibility, I hope not nuclear weapons, but for all I know, with nuclear weapons, it could be the beginning of the Third World War, because the Arab world would rise up against, and not only would Israel be bombed and possibly destroyed, but also the implications of a nuclear exchange between Israel and, and Iran cannot be uh, overestimated. So that is what we are about. We are, what we were about when we talk about, about the Afghan war, we talk about the Suez war, <coughs> we represent the people in Britain who are opposed to the use of war by Western powers to safeguard our interests regardless of the suffering which we would impose on the rest of the world. I hope it doesn't come to that. It may be that once a council will prevail, maybe some settlement could be reached. But I have no doubt, whatever in my mind, that the Stop the War Coalition, which has done so much over the last 10 years, will be needed desperately in the immediate period to give propaganda about what's going on, to support the people who are opposed to the war, and indeed to move, I hope, towards a, a peaceful solution of the Middle East. Engaged in a very big up uprising of a very important character. So that's all I wanted to say, just to give the background, to give a warning, which I'm sure is what brought you here tonight, so that we can organise to prevent this conflict from taking place. And uh, I think everyone here, we wouldn't have come if you hadn't been interested, everyone here has a role to play in talking to colleagues and friends in organisations where they work trying to bring the uh, resistance to this war into the forefront of the political campaign and political debate. So thank you for listening. I know that we shall meet again many times on this issue because the danger is a very, very real one. Thank you. Thank you very much.